Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about Medieval Empires. And the reason I want to talk about this game is because they also have a hundred gems on the Immutable ZK EVM. So if you want to participate, please use my link below. This will help me and the channel. And let's go and see what we need to do to get the gems. So if you come here to the daily gems, you're going to see that there is a hundred gems for completing the town hall level five. So if you click in rules, you're gonna see all you need to do is to complete your town hall to level five. It says here it takes approximately two hours, but it takes me about four to be able to do it. I was with the game open the whole day and I was doing all the upgrades as it, as it goes. Just to upgrade the town hall to level four to level five, it takes one hour. Now you're gonna get some uh, speedy gems as well that's gonna help to improve the buildings a lot faster. I didn't use that. So maybe if you use all the J's that you receive it, you're going to be able to do it in two hours, but I did it in two, in four and it was pretty easy. I just had to come back every half an hour or so and continue building. So let's go ahead and talk about this game a little bit. So the game is quite interesting. It's basically what you have to do is to build your medieval empire. You're going to be building all the different kind of buildings to you're going to create your farms you're going to create your lame jacks and so on and also you're going to be creating heroes and also characters to play the fight so the game is looking quite cool there is quite a few things that if you want to keep playing a bit faster you will have to spend some money however for this 100 gems you're not going to have to spend one cent but after that if you want to pass level six you need to have a couple of silvers to go ahead and get a place that you can get your settlement because on the free land you are able to get over level six so that's enough to get your gems but as soon as you try to go to level seven you're gonna have to settle somewhere and then you're gonna have to have at least five thousand silvers i think that was the cheapest settlement that i found and this is costing like ten dollars for ten thousand silvers or you can get a thousand silver a day if you complete all the daily missions so it would take you about five days to complete all the daily missions every day to get a 5000 silver to go for the cheapest settlement now i'm going to show you all this on the video very soon now if you know in the settlements that's a bit cheaper i'm looking for a settlement to set my city so you can see there is the marketplace where you can get different combination of things so you can get here some of the tokens that are for one minute speed on buildings you can get here a combination with some silver and also some speed and also some resource and so on and also you have the meat token and the meat token if you have some of these tokens you can stake to get vip access and the vip is going to give you boosters in the game now the game also have lands and if you're interested in getting a land you can get that land on polygon or immutable and then you can import to the game and then you can rent to people to use and they're going to pay you rent and they also pay you a percentage of the resource they get it so that is quite cool now this is my settlement as you can see i already have been building it i have a total level five like i said now if i want to go for level six as you can see here it says that i have to settle in any lane to upgrade it and like I said, if you can come here and rent a different lane, and those are the lanes that are available for rent at the moment. Moats are around 10 to 20,000, but there is this one here that is 5,000. So if you're lucky to get this one here, you're going to be able to settle a lot cheaper. Now you need to have the silver to do so. And as you could see here, I have 225 silver and if i come to my daily missions so these are the missions i have to do every day and as you progress with the missions you open these chests here and as you can see this last chest has 650 silver this one has 250 and this one has 100 silver now these other two here have no silvers so you cannot open it so what you need to do is to complete all the different tasks here and if you complete all of them you're gonna get one thousand silver now you can reroll one of the tasks for free and to reroll the other ones you need to pay silver as well so you need to decide if you want to expand some silver to get a little bit more silver or if you're going to try to do all the different tasks now on the first day i just had one army 
So I wasn't able to get all the resources that I needed. I also started late in the day. Now this is my second day. I have two armies now, so I'm able to go and get some extra resource at the same time. And I'm hoping I will be able to complete all the tasks because this daily mission, it just started three hours ago. And you can see here, I'm way over halfway through it. So basically how the game work, you're going to get your town hall and then you can build all the different things. So you can see, I have here my farms. I have here my lumber mill. I have here my mines. I also have my stables here. I have two medical centers where I'm healing my heroes that I use in combat. So you can see the two here. Then I also have the barracks here. I also have my archery. And here is my hero academy where I can do the heroes. Now there is also here the research academy and on the research academy, you can expand your three different knowledge on the civil or on the military. So let's go ahead and spend the military and you're going to be unlock a different bonus for your town. So that is pretty simple how the game works and you can have all the different lanes here. So you can see here, if I decide to move, this is my land. You start with a small plot of land, but all the land around you can get for free. Now this is all the land you can get free as well. After that, you're going to have to start pay some silver for this as well. But like I said, anyway, you cannot go with your town hall more than level five here on this free spot. So I don't have anything else to build anyway now like i said before the game has its shop it's the same than on the website it gives you some extra resources to go ahead and play so you can see with this one five dollars you're gonna get some extra resources and you're gonna get enough silver to do your settlement now i think that settlement is just one so after somebody get this you nobody else is gonna be able to use it now there is no trick to get your town hall to level five actually uh, every time you click it's gonna tell you what you need to upgrade it so you just go ahead and follow so it's gonna say you need the barracks to be level one or two or three and you're gonna upgrade everything that needs to be upgraded so then you can upgrade your town hall and in about four hours you should be able to get your town hall to the level five and then be able to participate it all the james drop here from immutable passports. So that's it for me, guys. I'm very interested on the immutable chain. So if you know more games, if you have any tips for me, please let me know. Also, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe. That would help me a lot. I really need your help with the channel at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.